and welcome to a new lesson here on hellosaxophone.com. Uh, today's lesson is about the B flat key fingerings, because obviously there's various options to finger this one note. And uh, well, some of you have been writing to me and saying that it's kind of confusing, uh, you know, when do you use which fingering, when and why. So I thought I'd make a little, uh, you know, focused lesson just about this one subject. Now, if you don't already know how to play the B flat, or if you don't know any of the other options, you only just know one. Uh, there's actually about four options uh, that are often uh, used, but I'll stick to the two uh, main ones because really with those two, you can play anything and option three and four are more for like, you know, super advanced saxophone players who wanna, you know, go crazy and show how great they are. So uh, we're just gonna start with these two. Now the regular way to play the B flat uh, you know the way that it's taught often you know at first is to use actually I hope you can see here is to use the regular B key and the A key and then you use the, the lower palm key to create the B flat so uh, that would sound like this going from the B to the B flat now uh, the the second way uh, which is actually kind of the easiest way to do it is to go from the from the B to the B flat using this very little sort of in-between uh, key here, between the B and the A, this little thing. And uh, the way you play it is you sort of roll your finger down, uh, going from the B to the B flat, sort of adding this little thing, uh, you know, to, uh, to, it, to you pressing the, the regular B key down. So uh, that sounds exactly the same. So option one. Oh, sorry. Option two. Sounds pretty much the same, but uh, when you're playing, uh, well, in several places and at several times, it kind of does make a difference, uh, you know, what way you're playing it. And uh, actually, uh, when you're first learning it, to most people, the the using le petit bass as this little uh, key, which which is French for the little B flat key, uh, is called is actually kind of easier in the beginning because you know here you need to sort of put the two together and the side key and especially in the beginning you're still you know thinking a lot about the key so that can be kind of hard, but I do advise you to learn it actually uh, this first way because it'll come in handy later, and uh, what I find is that. Whenever I'm playing runs up and down, especially chromatic runs, so things like this. Then using the side key option, so option one, uh, works by far the fastest. And also uh, in songs, for example, something like uh, Take Five, uh, for example, uh, there are some points where you have to sort of do this. And uh, when you're doing that, the side key, which the side keys, which in general are sort of meant to play thrills with, so to do this effect, that's much easier to do it there than to use the little key like this. Because you just can't do it that fast with your hands. And also when you're, uh, you know, in points in songs where you have to play really, it just works better to do it with the side key than to do. You see, really fast is almost impossible using that small key. So uh, that's really uh, what I would advise you. Like practice your chromatic licks and your chromatic runs, your chromatic scales using the side key because then you'll get very fluid in going up and down and uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, incorporating this type of fingering in your runs and that'll make it much faster in the end. You'll be you know, really happy that you did it that way. Uh, but for specific situations in specific songs, uh, you know, my philosophy is just look at every song as a new thing and then figure out what will work the best. So whenever you encounter the B flat, I regularly play it using the side key. But whenever I think, oh, well, actually, because there, you know, the B flat comes along quite a few times and I have to play the B or the C or the A, uh, you know, many times around the B flat, then often I choose to go for the uh, petit bass option, uh, which works very well also. So you just really have to look at it song by song and there's not one rule that says you have to use this one or you have to use that one. Just within runs, Preferably the side ones whenever you're doing thrills really fast use the side ones if you have a bit more time Or if it's just uh, more efficient because you're doing a lot of things with your upper hand here And you want to focus on that and you just find that it flows naturally to do it that way 
then do it using the petite bass. So uh, those are the two options and uh, you know sort of some general guidelines to make sure that uh, you know you're doing it uh, right that way. So have fun with that, have fun practicing and uh, see you again in a new lesson here and don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel of course if you like my lessons. Ciao! Thank you.